break of the night, finest. Draft the teams. There they are. Last break of the night? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. My last break of the night. Not Sam's last break of the night. He's got that Bowman coming up. Wait, what happened to Bowman on the widget? It's not there anymore. Oh. Uh, oh, you deleted it. <laughs> hmm. I did? Yeah. Oh, weird. It was probably at the top with, like, zero spots or whatever. Oh. <laughs> There's still a spot left. <laughs> there is? Yeah. Man. I hate how it does that. Yeah, I know. Well, there's one spot left in Bowman. I don't know when that was that you deleted it. Yeah, the weird thing is there's nothing that hasn't been deleted, you know? There's nothing that hasn't been deleted. I would have deleted it in place of something else that should have been deleted. Yeah. Wait, you just did it. Because three minutes ago... No, never mind. That's legacy. Oh, I thought someone bought a spot like three minutes ago. Uh, last spot was forty minutes ago, so some sometime in the last forty minutes. Weird. There's this. We have kind of a queue of what? St there's this like authentication sticker just stuck to the outside of the. Oh <laughs> yeah. Finest box. Yeah, all the breaks are on the on the back end or end of our site in the order that they fill. But if there's one that's like, what is it that's close to filling or something? If the last spot is in someone's cart, it's like but it's not cart. like eight, it'll move it to the very top where. Yeah, I think I told. Him. Yeah. Anytime I talk to Todd, I tell him like a hundred things, and then I like he makes a list, and then they get lost yeah. and Half void. Or I just give them too many new things that like, move the other ones down. Mm -hmm. Matt Tice to 99. Green auto. He usually asks me, like, well, right, what's the priority on these? And I'm like, uh, all of them at the same time now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Today. have them all done in, like, the next couple hours. Yeah. Oh, I didn't close the door, so it's screaming. Jordan rookie. Andres Munoz rookie auto. Dan the man. Bichette, the man rookie. Come on, finest super. Oh, yeah, we still haven't gotten to find a super. Lazardo blue. I've had several in Bowman. Yeah. Yeah, we get them on a Bowman left and right now. Trout, the man, Boba Shat, rookie.
Are you still in the middle of tax season, JMBB? Tax season never really ended this year, huh? Now you're going to have yeah, 8 million left. people trying to file right now for the deadline in two weeks. Jordan. Never any taxis. It's kind of weird how they're... I don't really get how the whole... Businesses have to pay... Businesses that pay quarterly are supposed to pay first and second quarter estimates the same day that the 19 is due. Oh, really? So... Baby. For all these businesses that are like barely keeping afloat, it's like, oh, pay all last year's taxes and yeah. the first two quarters on the same day, right in the middle of this whole thing. I guess they don't have to. They're just pay, they'll, they could just pay penalties and interest later. But yeah, it's that's, weird. It's tough. Yeah. Seems like well, they just yeah, say, it's one all of right. those things where it's like, they make it seem like it's like a good thing they're doing. And they're like, yeah. They're just like, no, we, you can kick the can down the road. It's going to hurt bad, but. Yeah, they should just say, like, you don't have to make quarterlies this year. Like, just. Yeah. Pay no penalties and pay by, you know, April 15th next year for 2020 or something. That would be a lot of money that the IRS wouldn't be getting for the whole year. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably too true. I bet. Yeah, I think they just won't pay it. I think a lot of businesses will be like, "Well, that's an e that's a no brainer. We just can't do it." If it comes anyway, to operating expenses, Paul Dion, T weeks, T weeks. Yeah. T <laughs> Robert the man. Any Jason in that Valiant? I missed it. Uh, nope, no Jason. No Wander either, actually. A lot of Jordan. Is that what it says? Whilst your card is empty? I didn't even know that. I didn't I didn't custom make that it's whatever the software is. Is that even like correct? Probably not. Like in journalism school, they teach you, like, never write towards. Mm. So it's just toward. I wonder if it's like that. Or just yeah. While is correct. And then... then why does whilst exist? Uh, yeah, that does seem like an old... Uh... Matt Beatty, the man. Ah. Sarah Chef. Yeah, some of these are on card. I think some of them aren't, but that is that one's on card. Isn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah. It has the same like look of the sticker ones, but I wonder how many times someone's like, Matt Beatty, you are the man. Yeah. Probably yeah. like some high school and college. Buying drinks for his friends at the bar or something. <laughs> yeah. You're the man, Matt. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> One day I'm going to have a card that says I'm the man. You'll see. Like, Let's not get carried away, but thanks for the drinks. That's cool. Judge and Glaber to 50. I don't know, Sam. I might have gotten them good and sleepy for you here. I know. 
Or they're taking a nap to be able to get through the bowman. That could be. I guess it is. It's weird to think of all the time zones. It's 10 o'clock on the East Coast now, so. Yeah. Is there a Trout Otani dual auto like that? I don't know. Are they, are they on the list? Probably. Chronicle soccer, yeah. Pouring Austin over. Austin Riley. I know. Well, Edit, now that I've seen almost all of them. Sam, you could do this too. You've probably seen most of the Coen Brothers movies. Oh. What are your top five favorite Coen Brothers movies? I don't know. After Lebowski, I don't know what. Oh, no. No, no, no country, country for Old Men. That was good. Uh, a serious man. Mine is, I think mine is No Country for Old Men, Lebowski, A Serious Man, Inside Lewin Davis, maybe, the four. Five is interesting. I'd have to see a list, I guess. Is there an obvious one I'm missing? Mine's Lebowski, and then all the other ones are a thousand times below that. Oh, yeah, Fargo, for sure. Oh, Fargo is good. Because that's a movie that's set in, like, my neck Park. of the woods. That doesn't happen that often. <laughs> well, it's weirdly almost entirely in Minneapolis. Oh, yeah. Oh, Brother Rosa. Raising Arizona is good, too. Yeah. I don't think any of those are as good as the five that I said. In my, I didn't like them as much as those. Yeah, I think Oh, Brother Rosa was really good. I can't remember, I but I think I remembered really liking it. Yeah, I haven't seen that one in a long time, too. I should revisit that. Dernsby Sorensen. Gold. I don't remember any of these movies. I have to watch them again. Yeah, the soundtrack. Raising Arizona is crazy. It's it actually after I've seen the original Mad Max, the first one edit. Raising Arizona kind of reminds me of that with the, you know, the guy trying to get yeah. the baby and stuff. What's his name? Te Tex. I don't oh, remember. Sure. It's Toe Cutter in the original Mad Max. Moments. He has a tough guy name. Bo Bichette. No, Bo Bichette. Randall Tex Cobb, that's it. Hippie. Is that our first Boba Shet from Finest? We just have like oh, we had a thousand one. of them. I thought we got one in like every case at the beginning. Really? Didn't we? Am I just thinking of Robert that we haven't like had any of? Yeah. I think so. I swear we got a bunch of Boba Shet. Like every single case. In the first <laughs> five cases. My brother keeps telling me that the newer Mad Max is really good with, uh, what's her name? Yeah, uh, Charlize Theron. Fury yeah. Road is literally Fury. my favorite movie of the last, like, definitely this, de like, that decade, for sure. Huh. I love that movie. Yeah, everyone says it's good. Dang, I need to watch that. It's weird because, like, the the first Mad Max, like, the very first one, it's not that apocalyptic. Mm. Like, there are still, like, stores and stuff. And, like, he's a cop. <laughs> like, there's, like, you know, there is some society. I can't walk. Yeah, I hate going to the theater. I don't miss it at all. I miss it bad. Yeah. I love it. I've had many experience in the theater where I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go now, and I have to sit there for another hour. Demerit. Uh, butch wax. Yeah, I don't, I guess I shouldn't say that. I try not to recommend anything to Sam because I have no idea if he's going to like anything or not. Oh, did they say that there's just no Robert, even though he's on the checklist? He just doesn't have autos? I think he's just saying because there hasn't been any up yet. Well, there, yeah, there should be by there now. Would, there would be. There would be, yeah. 
That sucks. That's dirty, putting it on the checklist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody's sitting on, like, ten cases that have forty Robert Autos in them. Yeah. That would well, never happen. Luckily, I'm, I'm sure they'll be never... held accountable, and they'll make they'll make yeah, good on it, and it'll be... Yeah, you know what's weird is, like, I mean, I know... I've thought of that before, how, like... Hosmer to 250. Shit. Tops or Panini can do stuff like that. They don't even have to... They don't even address it. They'll yeah. never address it. Just don't say anything. It's weird. Yeah, I should have changed them on the rankings. I thought that they existed. Well, we don't know for a fact that those are stolen. It certainly appears that way. Or given, or who, you know, who knows. Could have bought them. Yeah, it's possible that he could have bought them. But... Oh, Vlad Sr. T. Barry. You checked each one? Jeez. Well, yeah, I guess the question then is, like, did he take them without them, you know, knowing, or did they say, like, ah, oh, yeah, you can just keep those? Oh, they weren't even on the checklists. That's good, I that's guess. Di that's different, I guess. If that's what, what you mean. Better than... Pretending that they were, you could get them. Yeah, well, it might happen all the time at it, I guess. Yeah, there's that not rest. For big, not for big things like Robert, but the. Uh, what was I gonna say? There's that wrestler that supposedly like takes all of one of ones. But that's not as big as Giannis. Really gray. Yeah, those, like, <laughs> like the rookie, you know, immaculate cards and stuff are, like, literally worth tens of thousands of dollars. No. But how would he have known in 2013 and stuff to, like, take them? He was, like, he didn't even... Yeah, how did he even know he was going to be that good? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Yeah, that's possible. But I mean, that's something that obviously Panini would have had to have known. Aren't they, weren't they like one of ones and stuff? It's not like Panini would be like, oh, he didn't get this back. I don't, all right, well, never mind. Verlander to 150. T boom to one fifty. T Barry.
Ichiro Finest Careers. Bichette Rookie. Abraham Toro. M.W. Clot. Pete Alonso to 250. Green, Carter Kibu, T. Barry, some Carter Kibu in these boxes. Blue Lindor to 150. Each row for the Mariners, finest careers. Mm, I changed my mind. You're doing the hobby, Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely oh, not. I've got like kind of a side cramp on it. I uh, won't go away. I'm gonna have to sit this one out, Omni. That was the premonition you had was you yeah. were saying you were gonna break it and then telling me I had to break it. Then you then then... saying no. <laughs> Can't believe we fell for the oh. What? Oh, awesome. Weird, a Griffey like it's just a base auto. Yeah, he has base autos. Now Jack that one's on the checklist and they actually exist. So that's positive. I would have thought that he would only be on like the moments and stuff. No. That's why, yeah. That that team is impossible for pricing. It's like they have. Uh, oh yeah, Ichiro autos too. Ian Ichiro, like and super, they're on like the the main checklist. Rare. Yeah. And you're like, so they're one in a million boxes, or one in you know, wow. forty. Yeah, I bet there's not a lot of those. It's not numbers. You should, but... you should probably not buy 15 spots of legs. I mean, I totally want to do it tonight, but uh, we have this thing where, like, our internet shuts off at, like, 9. It's, it's, I pay way less. I don't do any internet from 9 to midnight. It's good for the kids, too. They have to turn off all their devices. Yeah, just cable for them from 9 to midnight.
Yeah, daytime internet. Yeah, it turns back on at midnight. It's the weirdest thing. Oh, that's strange. Will Smith, we have a redemption here, and it was not in the pack that all of them had been. Oh, it's a mystery redemption. Player one. 23 of 99. They actually number the redemption. Yeah, I love the numbering on there. So we don't know who that is, right? Yeah, I don't think they've announced any. I could double check. That seems pretty quick. They don't usually do it right away. Or is that, uh, are those going to end up being the Robert yeah. autographs? Player one rules. We'll blue box that at the end. And Lindor has a, he was a mystery redemption in 15 finest his rookie year. Oh, we got a gold auto too, Will Smith. And I saw one not that long ago that went for more than I would have thought, but I still should have bought it. His stuff's going nuts. Sierra Chef. <laughs> mystery flag of three. Yeah, did I tell you, Sam, I was looking at a, a green Lindor rookie auto from Tops Chrome? Mm -mm. And it ended today, and it was like five hundred dollars. What? Yeah. Wait, Wait what? Tax, it, it would have been over five hundred dollars for a Lindor green Topps Chrome rookie auto. Wow. Yeah. I was like, oh, I might buy this. It, you know, it'll be expensive, but it's a cool card. No, it was like four hundred and eighty-five dollars plus tax. Jeez. So. Yeah, his stuff is like insanely expensive now. Yeah, Omni, you're like the new Gary V. Well, Gary V probably mentioned him, and that's why it went up. Yeah. Or well, that's why all the stuff's gone up. But, like, his Topps Chrome, like, short print base and stuff. God. Being a Lindor collector has gotten much harder. I bought two update PSA 10s for, like, 30 bucks each. Yeah, his stuff was nothing for a long eight, time. Eight months ago. And they're worth, like, $140 <laughs> now or something. I pretty much did, Brian. I fleeced Brian on a Lindor update PSA 10. I didn't Ziggle. know it at the time, but... Noisy. Really Mystery great. Edition 3 was Ziggler? Oh, Zimmer. Oh, Bradley Zimmer. I was like, Ryan Zimmerman? Brad Ziegler? 2017. Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, uh, 17. I mean, it's, yeah. Player one. Well, I think every redemption should have a numbering on it. It'd be amazing. Yeah. All right. Why not? Well, we're done just in time, Sam. My headphone is telling me it's got a low battery, so. We have a couple minutes, but not not much to I wish that they had, that they left you more time, mm. you know, give you more warning. Yeah. What is that team? The A's disappear when the blue box goes over. I guess yeah, the, like, I think like older. the Yankees, Padres, Tigers, anybody that's like a darker. Oh, that's twice. All right, quick hit recap. Look at this beauty. Man, I love that card. It's so cool. Griffey. Noisy, Goldsmith, Keyboom Green, Toro, Keyboom Blue, Brown, Vlad Sr., finest moments. Demarie. Oh, yeah, Boba Shett. That was a pretty good case, all in all. Riley, Beatty, DeYoung, Beatty, Munoz, and Tice. Nothing Man. super low numbered. I think we had a gold, a couple of golds, Dernsby and the Yankees dual gold.